afternoon and welcome to Broken Mitsubishi. My name's Joel and today we're going to be having a look at this Honda HRV Limited Edition 2015 model year 15. It is in a nice modern steel or grey colour, so it's a dark grey. Has only done approximately about 39,000 kilometres for the age of the car, which is very low for a 2015 model. And it does look very good condition wise for the age. You're running a CVT uh, transmission which is a 1.8 litre naturally aspirated engine on this car which is a front wheel drive with 105 kilowatts of power it's running at approximately 6.9 per 100 for the fuel economy on this vehicle too so very good if you're going to be using this a little bit of a family and a run around car as it just works nicely for the both just having a quick look at the front here we can see that it's in very good condition we do have our fog lights on the very bottom on the both left and also the right hand side with a nice silver honda badge there as well I've got it currently running at the moment just because it is a little bit warm today and when I jump into the car, I just want to keep it a little bit cooler for myself when running over the features in the vehicle. Front left hand tyre here is in pretty good condition. We do have 17 inch alloys in this room, uh, car. A few little scuff marks there but nothing out of the ordinary for a little bit of an older car. Continuing through, we do, it looks like we have a lot of features in this car which we'll run through a fair bit more of them when we get inside it. As an example, it does look like we have our 360 camera potentially on this vehicle as well. Jumping into the passenger side here, we do have a full leather interior, which is the reason why I wanted to leave that air conditioner on just for a little bit longer, so I can get that nice and cool. Door trim is in very good condition over here as well, with a reasonable amount of storage space too. Peeking into here, we do have standard carpet mat sets on this vehicle as well, so it looks like they've potentially been added from the factory, which we can have a quick peek under here to see how good the condition of the carpet is in there too. Under here, before I forget, is a power outlet, a USB, and also a HDMI port under the very bottom just there as well. Manual adjustments on this back and this front left-hand seat for your movement. The car's just beeping at me now because I've got the keys in my pocket and it's currently running, so it's just doing a little bit of a safety feature there. Jumping into the back left-hand side over here, we do have a very nice speaker adjustment, uh, sorry, speaker location on this one here, and we do have a very good amount of storage space in that door trim just there as well. Leather seats still as a flow through, which are very nice and in good quality and good condition there too. Behind the passenger and also the driver's seat, we can see we do have some storage space available to us, which is very nice. Uh, carpet mats all the way across the center in the bottom and a 12 volt adapter cable there as well. Back left hand wheel is in very good condition over here too. Uh, nothing too much that jumps out at me either. Continuing all the way around, we do have our HRV and limited edition badge on the left hand side there with some reverse parking sensors and a reverse camera built into this vehicle. On the very top, we do have a stoplight uh, mounted to that tail light, which gives us nice visibility at night for when you're going to be putting on those brakes to give you a little bit more safety. Having a peek in here, we do have a Honda or a HRV cargo mat, which has been added uh, by looks of it from the factory and also a little bit of a uh, kind of blind itself, which is just nice and simple but it works very well. Little handle up here to pull the boot down, which makes it nice and easy to close with a little bit more power and when you're not setting on a hill. Continuing through, back right-hand quarter panel's in very good condition, along with our back right-hand tire with no gutter rash or anything like that that stands out to me at all. Back right-hand door is in very good condition with no marks, wears or tears on that one either. Having a quick peek into the back right hand door trim, we still have a very good amount of storage space that flows through very nicely, along with a very nice well located speaker there too. Peeking into the back seats yet again, we do have our leather which is in very good condition, no rips or tears, which is very nice. Isofix points for both the left and also the right hand side seats are on this vehicle too, which is nice to have. Driver's side has keyless entry, which is those little buttons on the drivers, and also the passenger side, which is very handy and nifty to have in the vehicle. So when you've got your hands, or sorry, your hands tied up and your keys are in your handbag or in the grocery bag or something, or even a gym bag, you can open the car with just a press of a button. Front right hand tire and rim over there is in very good condition yet again. No gutter ash or anything like that, but it does present. Driver's side door trim has a few little scuff marks, but nothing too much out of the ordinary there, but in very good condition otherwise. We do have a nice uh, leather stitching and a leather flow through from the door trims all the way through to the dash on this car as well, which is just a nice addition to the car. Mirror controls and window controls all located on the right hand side over here as well. 
just having a quick peek into the interior. We'll jump inside and have a little bit more of a look and go through some of the interior. Get that steering wheel all lined up and you can see exactly what it looks like to sit inside this vehicle today. On the right hand side over here we have our cruise control settings. Underneath we have more cruise control settings with also some information settings so we can change our average fuel distance, um, some more settings, seatbelts to see who has their seatbelts on and who doesn't. So as an example, the back left hand one is currently in at the moment, as you can see, and that's what it's showing up as on my side over here on the right. Continuing all the way around, we can see that we do have our um, taco and also our RPM meter on the left hand side there, and also what gear we're currently in. Changing into reverse on this vehicle will show us we do have our reverse camera as a standard, and it looks like by pressing a button over here on the right hand side of our indicator stalk, there is a camera over here, which is a little bit different, but it's very nice to have. So if you're parked in any car park or anything like that, um, and you wanted to know if there's anyone directly beside you, or even if you wanted to check to see if you've got your blind spot, you've got that available to you. Looks directly back, so as an example, if you're gonna be um, through stop start traffic, you can see if there's any cyclists or any pedestrians coming up on your behind, so you can have that enabled if you would like to. Also would work pretty well to line up if you're wanting to go towards any uh, parking lines or anything like that as well. All of our climate control settings are all located slightly down here with a nice little touch screen interface, which is, um, it's more like touch buttons, but it works very, very well and it's very intuitive and it, you can just adapt very well to it. Heated seats are also located up here along with a nice piano black with our electric handbrake located in the center here. Um, if we do continue to open this one up, we do have our cup holder just here as well. I'm actually struggling to get this one open because it's actually a little bit of a reach in there. A little bit of a storage container and two cup holder trays just here, which it looks like if you push it down, they give you some more room yet again. Then you can actually press that button there, another button there, and that all gives you a little bit more stability. So it's very nice to have. Continuing through, we do have our air vents all along our dash with a nice leather feel and look there as well. Continuing through, we have our indicators on the left-hand side, which are your auto indicators, sorry, auto light wipers, and you've got your auto indicators, sorry, auto lights, and your indicators on the right-hand stalk. Sorry, having a little bit of trouble talking today. Traction control settings are located on the right-hand side as well, along with our fuel gauge down the very bottom there, and probably our bonnet as well. Other than that, that pretty much wraps up our walk around of this Honda HRV. If you do have any further questions about this particular vehicle, please feel free to contact our friendly staff today on 9907-055, or you're more than welcome to make an appointment to come down and have a look at this vehicle at down here at 20 to 32 Canyon Drive in Berwick. We do have in-house finance options available, so if you'd like to see if this vehicle fits within your budget, please feel free to contact us today. Thank you for watching, my name's Joel, and have a lovely afternoon.